there's a few snowflakes in the air, just a few. I can see a lot of cloud over there from the east, which is where the, the snow showers are supposed to come today. So um, fingers crossed, I'm going to get some snow. Yes, the snow has started to fall. I don't know how much time I've got here. Probably not much. It's just kind of swirling around as well. You know, like a, like a mini blizzard. Okay, there's a swan down there. I've got to get really low down because I'm trying to I'm trying to blur the backgrounds. I'm trying to get like a really nice dark background to sh uh, to snow snow show the snow up against. And the only way I can do it is to get down the ground. So we're going to do that. <laughs> Oh, oh god, I'm getting too old for this. Shooting that way, I know I've been here loads of times, but it's just a great place to come because it's reliable. Um, I'm shooting towards the trees in the background, which is really nice and brown, so it goes out of focus, dark brown colour. That's allowing the snow to show up. If I shoot up there, like a normal person maybe, um, you're just not going to see the snow because you're just kind of pointing towards the water. But down here is the only way I can get this swan. Oh god, but it's... Ugh. Yeah, let's do this. So I'm at ISO 800, 1 400th f6.3. Oh, that's good. Nice. Um, so this swan's staying pretty still for a bit. All right, I'm going to change this now. I'm going to go to ISO 400. And I'm going to drop the shutter speed. So if I lower the ISO, I need more light. So I've got to drop the shutter speed uh, to get more light in. So we're going to go down to that uh, 200th of a second. And this one's being very, very obliging. So I've got uh, two different shutter speeds there. Hope you see a difference in the snow. And then uh, it's gone now, so uh, I can't do a, a really slow one. And what I'm doing as well, I've got it on a one-shot focus, so that kind of locks the focus. So what I'm doing, uh, I use the shutter button to focus. Um, focusing on the swan, shutter button half pressed, focus on the swan, keep it pressed down to lock the focus, and then I'm slightly moving the camera. So focus on the swan, slightly move to recompose, and then fire. If this one was swimming, then I'd have it on servo and I'd uh, choose the focus point on its head. If you think that these vlogs are hard to make, you've got an idea how hard they are. Double it, because it's just ridiculous at times. Oh, this snow is just about perfect now. I you know, it just kind of lingers in the air. It's almost just like floating. Just a little bit of a breeze, but it's just floating in the air. It's just hanging in the air around the ducks. This is fantastic. Um, so I'm going to shoot towards this dark background where the fleas are, trees are reflecting. Sorry, I can't talk again. Oh man, this is superb. The mandarins have just been absolutely fantastic. They're doing a bit of courtship display. A lot of birds do this early spring, even in February, and a lot of ducks do the thing where they kind of they throw the head back, and that's what the mandarin ducks are doing. The males they're throwing the head back and wooing, a little bit like eiders, but they keep like snapping the head back. Um, so I was watching that and trying to get a couple of shots. I think I might have got one, 
but uh, the shutter speed wasn't massively fast so I don't know if it'll be sharp enough but just watching that is superb it'd be great just to photograph that on its own uh, which I might do So what I thought I'd do is show you uh, the cover for my camera to keep it dry and warm in these conditions which I meant to do in the previous video but it all went to pot. So this is like a, it's a, it's a proper cover you can buy, I can't remember where I got it from sorry. Um, but it's like an L shape so the main bit is for the lens and then the end bit comes up over the camera body. So you can get it totally over the camera body like that. So that keeps it waterproof and then what I've done as well is get this, it's an old, it, what's it, it's from a waterproof coat. Uh, it's a sleeve from waterproof coat and I've just cut that off and what's great as well got a bit of velcro on the end so you can sort of tighten that around uh, the end of the lens which is fantastic um, this snow's getting up again I'm gonna have to do some stuff yeah so I've got two layers and uh, whilst this camera is really waterproof I would really advise you to make an extra effort to keep everything warm and dry in these conditions well, I'm gonna have to shoot something because this is awesome Oh, more photographers. Oh, I've got to do some ghouls in these snow. It's going to be perfect. Let's go. Right, coffee time. Mm. Oh. To be honest, it's not so much the, the hot drink, oh, it does help and it helps keep your body temperature up a bit, I think. Um, it's more like the psychological effects of it, to be honest, just a psychological little pick-me-up when you're getting tired, when you're getting cold. Uh, just have a wee nip of coffee, there's nothing else in it. Uh, lots of sugar. You might recognise this place. I've done a few videos here and I did one very, very recently. Um, but the main reason for coming back is just because I'm a big believer if you've got conditions like this, snow, that we don't get very often, uh, it's much better to stay close to home and go for somewhere reliable. Because one, in this country when it snows, you can plan to go somewhere and there's a chance you just won't get there because the road will be shut off. There'll be a mass, a million traffic jams. Uh, and number two is that it's just more reliable because you know you know the stuff there and you've already shot there, you know where the backgrounds are, you know where the light is, you know all those little things which are going to make a difference as opposed to turning up to somewhere you don't know at all. And you can literally end up going home with no images at all. There's a number of things that really help you in snowy conditions. I'm going to show you one of the secrets for keeping out in the snow. That is flapjack. So yeah, flapjacks is actually part of my planning for the snow. Seriously, I buy flapjacks in the winter. Uh, the reason is that I tend to do like half day shoots, morning or afternoon. Rarely am I out like the entire day. Uh, but if it snows, it can be just so unpredictable and you just got to make the most of it. So you might be out for longer, particularly in the middle of the day as well. Um, so I make sure I've got some food and flapjacks are just perfect because you know, you can carry them around, they don't get mushed up, absolutely great food and it's pretty good for calories as well. Thank you so much for watching this video, I do hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos then check out this vlog up here. Also please subscribe to my channel and also if you do subscribe make sure you click the bell icon uh, to be notified of the videos, that's really important apparently. And uh, I'll see you somewhere in nature sometime soon. There's people everywhere. I should be allowed to have the parks myself, but they won't let me. Oh, oh God! I'm getting too old for this. Oh, it's a bit overexposed, isn't it? Ah. Sorry for all the noises. Huh? I left the camera on. I've been filming for 26 minutes.